welcome to our all school reading. This is our third annual Community Reads Day. I know that you all already had a great time this morning with readers in each of your classes, great books, great stories, lots of great questions and answers that you pose to your readers. I wanna welcome you all, all of our students and our teachers and our parents, guardians and friends here at MDA. Um, we are honored to have our all school reader, Mayor London Breed here with us today. Um, Mayor Breed, we just wanna thank you for your leadership. We are grateful to be a school community rooted in your city and under your guidance. And especially during the last 12 months of COVID, we just appreciate everything you have done to keep us safe and healthy and to ultimately help our students to keep on learning and growing. So we are grateful for you. We're so glad you're here and I am gonna turn it over to you to begin reading. Well, thank you so much. I'm excited to be here today at Mission Dolores Academy Read Day to read to you all and share with you how I became mayor. Um, I grew up right here in San Francisco on the Western Edition and school played a big role in my life. My teachers were some of my biggest supporters. I lived with my grandmother and she always made sure I went to school and read plenty of books. I had to work really hard all throughout school and in college. My education and support from my teachers, my friends and family all helped me learn the skills I needed to become mayor. As mayor of San Francisco, my job is to make sure the city runs smoothly every day and to help everyone who lives and works here. That means that I'm responsible for things that you might see when you're out walking around the city, like making sure we have fun, safe parks and playgrounds, muni buses that are clean, and keeping our streets and sidewalks safe and clean. We've also been really busy this past year making sure that we're keeping people safe from the coronavirus, giving people masks and reminding them to stay six feet apart and helping people who are sick. It's a big job, but I love being mayor because I get to give back to our city and our community. Throughout my life in school, my teachers always encouraged me to read for fun. And now reading is one of my favorite hobbies and it's a great way to relax after a busy day. It can be so fun to escape into a different world or to read a book that helps you learn more about the world or even your own neighborhood. Reading helps us build many important skills such as improving our vocabulary skills, strengthening our listening skills, and developing our imagination. I encourage all of you to find books that interest you and to find the joy in reading. And guess what? It's okay not to completely finish a book. I have a library card here in San Francisco. I check out books all the time on my devices. And sometimes I don't always finish them because after a while I might get bored with one of them. But thank you again for having me here and thank you to all the teachers, the staff, the parents, all of you have been adjusting to distance learning. I can't wait until you're able to get back in the classroom. Um, it has not been easy, but we're making the best of it. So let's go ahead and begin reading. So I am reading, Reading Makes You Feel Good. That's the book I'm reading here today by Todd Parr. I think, I hope I'm showing it. There we go. All right, this is the first time I did this, this reading thing virtually, so I'm used to an audience of kids, but I know you're there listening, right? Reading makes you feel good. It makes me feel good. Reading makes you feel good because... See the pictures? All right. You can imagine you are a brave princess or a scary dinosaur. Help, help, save me. Grrr. See, I even have special effects for you guys. Look, there's the princess with her long hair like Rapunzel. There's the dinosaur. Grrr. You can learn about cool places and people. Book reports are due Friday. That's what it says on the chalkboard. How many of you still have chalkboards? I remember those when I was a kid. There's a teacher saying book reports. There's no excuses. Your book reports are due. Be who you are. Do your best every day. And there are all the kids with their books. And there's the teacher's desk. 
How many of you put apples on your teacher's desk? You can make a new friend. Oh, this is a long, this is like a hot dog. This is a long hot dog. Look at that. Look at that dog. I don't know about you, but I've never seen a dog that long before. And you can do it anywhere. Reading makes you feel good because we got like purple polka dot couches in a park, uh, babies and animals. See how fun that is? There's a trash can. Always keep your city clean. There's a sun shining. Is that a squirrel reading? Okay, now I know if a uh, squirrel or whatever, oh, is that a cat or raccoon? I don't know what that is, but if an animal can read, then you can read too. You can learn how to make pizza. Look at that. Learning to make pizza. Wait, let me do this right. Okay, there we go. A lot of food in that kitchen. You can find your favorite animal at the zoo. And the zoo is open, so you can go to the zoo. Just keep your distance. Oh, and do not feed the monkeys. That's what it says in this sign here. You can make someone feel better when they are sick. How many of you have been sick and your mom or your dad or your grandma read a book to you? How cool is that? So next time mommy or daddy is sick, maybe you should read to them. You can travel to far away places. You know, in books you can learn about other cities too and see pictures about places like New York or London or uh, Australia. And you can do it anywhere. Reading makes you feel good. So you can do it anywhere, just don't do it when you're driving. I mean, I know most of you aren't old enough to drive, but you know what I mean. Make sure your parents aren't reading their phones when they're driving, how about that? All right. You can do it all by yourself. You can just go in the library and, and, and discover a whole new world of books. You can go online to look at books at the library. I do it all the time. And then I get lost in which book I'm gonna pick. You can learn how to take care of your pet. How many of you have cats or dogs? When I was growing up, I had cats. Kitty one, kitty two, kitty three, kitty four, kitty five, and Jojo. So you can learn about how to take care of your pets. Yes, we had a lot of cats throughout our life. You can follow signs on the road. So this is when you, when you start to learn how to drive, you gotta be able to read the signs and what they tell you. You can share a book with anyone. How cool is that? You and friends sharing books and sharing things with one another. Or you can read a book and your friend can read a different book and then you can share what you learned in that book with each other. And then you don't have to read the other book. And you can do it anywhere. You can do it on the bus. You can do it in the car. When you're in the car, you can read a great book. I love my pigs, book of bugs. I am a fish, okay? I know none of us are fish, but. Reading is important when you read or when someone reads to you, it helps you learn and discover new things. Curl up with someone special and read a book. You'll feel really, really good. Love, Todd. Aw, and that's from the author. He wrote a nice little message to end the book today for you. So I'm Mayor London Breed. It's been my pleasure to read to you and say hello, hang in there. I hope you enjoyed this. This was really fun. It was a nice break from work. And hopefully uh, sometime soon we'll be able to get together in person. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much for coming, Mayor Breed. We really appreciate it. And MDA, thanks for being an awesome audience. I know you're giving a virtual round of applause for Mayor Breed from all of your different locations, but Let's keep getting through this together. Have a great rest of your day, everyone, and we will see you soon.
Thank you.